I'm going to teach you guys how to do a really grungy smoky eye. Uh, first, we're going to start with this e.l.f. hydrating face primer. You only need like one squirt of it. It goes a little bit goes a long way. I am super red right now. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this sheer Envy by Hard candy concealing palette to like mask all my imperfections that I don't want to be shining through even though this is a grungy look it you could do without it Just ignore my stomach. That was the peach tone under the eye bags because now I'm going to go green, kind of mask all the redness that I have because I'm pale and I have a lot of redness. Sorry about the lighting. This is the only place I could find without lots of distracting background. Purple for like a little bit of yellow. I kind of have like really weird yellow splotches everywhere. And for, I usually prime my lids before I put on anything with Maybelline's uh, Master Prime Face Studio. And I'm almost out. I'm taking Stay Luminous by CoverGirl in Classic Ivory because I'm pale as ghost on the foundation brush from this is from Eco Tools. I'll blend this out with my fingers because I kind of hate just blending it out with something else that's not my fingers. I know I'm doing this totally wrong, but... I'm kind of doing this just so I can remember how to do it later. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I know it's blotchy, but I'll blend it out later.
Let it down my neck. Sorry if you can't see a little bit of it. My camera's a little bit weird. Oh. I always I always put too much right in my, in my under bags. Because I'm just a little heavy handed with everything. Except when I was in color guard. I'm not going to do any blush because I this look doesn't really call for it. But I am going to take from the Bon Jovi palette just the highlighter they have. Sol Disco Disco Solid Gold. It's really gold. Sort of gold. Oh, I forgot to powder my face. So I'll just do this real quick. So it kind of blends out more. I just don't realize that. I'm taking Moral Norman's uh, mineral powder. I put in this little Bratz container so it's easier for travel because it comes in this huge pot and like I always end up using way too much for it. Had to cut out it because it wouldn't open so I kind of had to force it to open. But yeah, I'm just going to apply this all over my face because it's shimmery and I love it. I think this shade was an L18. Again, that's Merle Norman's um, Mineral Powders with Shimmer. But this, it lasts a long time. You get a lot of it. So it's it's really worth like the I think it's maybe very expensive price tag 35 to 45 maybe 50 dollar price range but you get a lot of it and it lasts forever Just apply it everywhere. Then, again, go back with the Disco Disco Solid Gold from the Bomb Jovi palette from the Bomb. It's, it's a really nice, shimmery highlighter that does a lot more justice than it looks. Cupid's bow. I always do it on the cupid's bow. Even if people tell me not to, I'm like, I do what I want. Then down the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Blend it out a little bit. Like really grudgingly with my fingers. Then let me fill my eyebrows. I'm using Smashbox Bro. Bro Smashbox Brow Tech in taupe and soft brown. I'm not gonna use the wax, I'm just gonna fill in my brows with the top the taupe. And I don't care how other people do it. I'm just gonna fill it in. A little sparingly. It is a grunge look, so if it looks too out of place, blame it on the grunge. Of course, blending it out with my fingers. Then I take this, it's a uh, Claire's, I just really like that it was a all neutrals palette, 
it was seven dollars fifty cents U.S. dollars, so really cheap. And I kind of just kind of wanted it because it was cheap, and I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a really expensive palette when you just have to use a little bit more of this, and it works perfectly fine. So I'm taking a Eco Tools. To find it. Shader brush. Just the so just a sh shadow brush and applying the black on my eyelids. And there's quite a bit of fallout, but I can just smudge that underneath my eye eyes because I don't use liquid liner because I hate liquid liner. Cause I liked it when I was younger because it kind of covered up any, maybe, it kind of distracted people from the grossness of me first learning how to do makeup, but now I'm like kind of better at makeup. I don't really care. I'm not going to blend it out just yet. I'm going to go in with this darkish gray. Not this gray, but this darkish gray with a, I think it's called a pencil brush. It's a cheap pencil brush. It's stiff, but it does a job. And just go in to my crease. Uh, kind of heavily because I like the heavy. Go back in with a kind of stiffer shader brush and go back with the black. Kind of deepen up the black. Sorry with my weird faces. I like doing weird faces. Then take the light with a maybe blending brush, fluffy blending blush from Eco Tools. And then take the white, do it a highlighter. I don't care if it's not proper. I love I love doing this when I was first learning makeup and I still love doing it for like shit with smoky eyes. Because it just gives more of a death, death or whatever. And here comes the grungy part. You just blend it out with your fingers. It gives the grungy look that much more appeal. Now I look like a panda. I'll fix it up. But yeah. semi-dry makeup wipe that I used to take off the lipstick I had beforehand. Just kind of going lightly underneath it. I'll replace all the stuff underneath it. I don't have translucent powder, so... I don't want to be too grungy. Same time, I don't want to be too... Why? Go back with the peach color from the Hard Candy Sheer and V palette. It's kind of blending everything into meh. But that's okay. Uh, I'll cover it up. Then just take one of those makeup wedges you can get at like Walmart for like a hundred for like five bucks maybe like there's like one that's like name brand it's like 20 for five bucks and there's one that's for a hundred and it's like it does the same job doesn't it and I'll just tap that back underneath there way too much kind of tap so you kind of hide all your mistakes underneath. Kind of like what you do with college. My weird makeup faces. You just see it when I'm doing my lipstick. 
And then I kind of dab away any excess and see if there's any spots that kind of need, you know, covering up because it just looks so really bad. I don't have a concealer that matches. I kind of got a shade too dark with the other pink palette. That conceal hardening palette. They had one that's my shade, but I when I went there, they didn't have it. Excuse me. Just going back in with the Mineral Norman powder. Kinda sprucing my face back up. And it means I need to reapply my highlighter. And then I'm going to actually take this, the Metallica color from this palette and put it in my crease to kind of give it a little bit of liveliness without, you know, overpowering. So you can kind of tell it's a smoky eye. And this kind of blends it all together, what the finger smudging wouldn't do. And then... You take, this is, they said this is an eyeliner, pencil, eco tools. I really actually kind of like it. Yes, it's flat liner, and it works perfectly. And I'm going to go back in with the black. Kind of smudge it out a little bit with my fingers, but kind of keep it close to the lashes. Kind of going in a little eyeliner, cat eye shape. I think my sister's trying to get in. She made cookies and she's trying to show her little face in my pictures, my videos. Way too big. Just fix it up. Uh, it's actually kind of even. Even-ish. Even as I possibly could have gotten it without trying. Then I'm going to take the same shade blending brush and kind of smoke it out underneath my lashes. I think this is a Rue 21 eyeliner. It was like a full sized huge eyeliner and I've used the crap out of it. Just gonna line my fluid line or whatever you call it. Now I'm going to take a Smashbox Full Exposure in, I think it's Jet Black. Probably can't see it. I keep covering it up. Probably can't see it. Um, there was probably a bit of stopping, pausing, but yeah, Full Exposure, Smashbox. Regular. Just do your mascara as normal. I just see the top lashes. Whoops. But yeah. And good thing about you blending these out with your fingers. No one's gonna tell the difference if you're blended it out. A little bit more. Maybe they will. Unless they watch this video. Then. Then I'm gonna take. 
Gloriel's color rich in anti it's an anti feathering lip liner in prune it's a just a weird plummy color it matches my sort of matches my lipstick it's a tiny bit lighter but no one's gonna tell the difference because it blends out really good Kind of blend it out like that. Uh, I'm the only one who uses it, so I'm going to be applying it, applying it directly to my lips. But it's NYC Color 320 in Mahogany. Like, I love, I've been addicted to purples for forever now, and my mom will never let me have them. But now that I'm 18, 19, I don't care. I always, I always do that. tissue kind of get rid of that gunky pink that made it worse just my foundation again It's not working. Let me get my eyeliner. I'll just use this the pen the eyebrow pencil. I don't do lipstick in videos because of this. It doesn't excuse me. Hello again. And to set the lips. I know you're supposed to use translucent powder for it, but I'm a cheapie and don't have it, and I'm like sweating balls right now. I don't know. It's a little warm in here. And just take no tissue paper, brush full of powder, and just smear it on, and it causes it to. Stay matte and not move, and mine looks really bad right now, but I don't know. It's just something weird happening. It's like whenever I do stuff like this, it everything just kind of glitches and doesn't like me. No, it looks like bad, but hey, if people crit cl criticize you, guess what? Blame it on the grunge. And I'm gonna move y'all so y'all can see the final look. Yeah, here's my makeup kind of going weird. Yeah. See? Super grungy, super I don't care about anything and anything in the world. And you can tell my lips are just not doing it. The mahogany color is like a blood red purplish color. And for some reason on screen it just looks red. But I can assure you it's like a deep purple reddish color. Not just this blood red type color. It's like I'm sweating through everything.